Hi everyone, I hope you've had a nice week. I'm just going to wait for some of you to join me. Um, I've been doing drama workshops with you over the last couple of weeks and today I thought we'd try something a little bit different. I'm just going to wait for a few people to turn up as we, don't, we haven't actually got anyone yet so uh, I know a lot of you will be looking at this kind of afterwards anyway but um, hello who's that that's just turned up? If you could let me know that would be brilliant. Okay, we're going to make a start. Um, hopefully there'll be some more some more people joining in. Um, let us know how you've been getting on in lockdown. It's been quite a long time now, hasn't it? We've been, we've been going for three weeks. I've been spending most of the time trying to entertain my three-year-old daughter and to kind of keep my 12-week-old infant from crying. So that's been, a, that's been an experience, but, you know, things are okay. It's a nice chance to be creative in a different way. I found this lockdown, so that's been really nice. Um, we've got a few of you here now, so we're going to make a start. So last week I asked you to um, create some uh, some poems for me or some stories or some monologues and a few of you have responded which is great. So what I'm going to do now is read out some of the work that, um, that some of you have created. Uh, the first piece of work I'm going to uh, read out is from Sarah who's one of our members at Inspiration. Oh no, it's not the first, the first poems by Leo, sorry my mistake, the first poem is going to be by Leo and it goes like this. I really miss going to school, but I have learned a useful tool. My new tool is working from home, but sometimes I struggle not to use my phone. Whenever I need help, I email my teachers, but I get distracted by my bedroom features. My dog is always up for a run. I find this so much fun. I've learned many different lessons during this hard time, such as how to be a bit more kind, I can't wait to go back to school because thinking back on it, school was really quite cool. Looking forward to going back to inspiration run by Zoe and Pete with so much dedication. It's great to act and it's fun to sing, but being together is the greatest thing. I really like that poem, Leo. I think it's lovely. And, um, and I think you sum it up. I think actually if there's one thing this time's taught us, it's that, being together with people is really, really important. Um, you know, I miss a lot of my friends, but actually it's been nice staying in touch with people online like I am with you now. I can't wait to see you all though. It's, um, it, yeah, I'm certainly missing everybody. Uh, but well done, Leo, that was great. The next bit of work I'm going to read is a speech by Lauren Gibbs. Uh, Lauren's done some, something slightly different. She's just um, written a little message about the, uh, the, the band she enjoys most, and, uh, and that's Jedwood. So I'm going to find the start of it uh, around here. I'm doing a speech about Jedwood. They pretended to be babies in the Big Brother house. They were funny characters. They always make me laugh. They're really good singers, and they came from the X Factor. They come from Dublin, which is in Ireland. They are 28 years old, and they did X Factor when they were 17. In 2009, Jedward sold loads of albums. They made four albums, and, they, and one of the albums is called Voice of Rebel Planet. Jedward's Victory and Young Love, I listen to all of their albums. They're really, really good. They're fun to listen to, and I like them very much. I want to meet them one day. Thanks, Lauren. So that was, uh, that was really nice. So Lauren wrote a bit about her own experiences, which is great, something that she really enjoys. Um, okay, the next piece I'm going to read out is from Kane Manseray. I hope I've pronounced your surname right there, Kane. Um, Kane has written a, a beat poem, um, and it goes like this. A vicar in a village church, or a one-legged pirate on a treasure search. Maybe you want to be a mentalist, or defuse a bomb and stop an evil terrorist. Maybe you want to be a boxing champ. Oh, sorry, I lost it there. Maybe you want to be a boxing champ, or just chill out in the woods and camp. Maybe you want to be a superhero. Saving the planet, or... Or maybe you want to be saving the planet, or, or walking the streets of planet. 
Maybe you're a secret agent incognito on a special mission. Or maybe you're the next great rapper with a global hit like Ignition. It's not their dream or even mine. It's up to you to shine. You can be what you want to be. It's up to you. Don't you see? Really nice work there, Kane. I really like that. Um, I love writing poetry myself. And actually, I'm going to read you a little poem that I... Um, that I wrote this week about my daughter, but we'll um, we'll carry on with uh, uh, some of your stories. Um, Evie has written a really lovely little story. It's a piece of prose and it's about some cats. So uh, we're gonna have a read of that. Here we go. In the evening, the cat with the shiny smooth black fur waited silently in the shadows. When it was the right moment, she emerged from the darkness and entered the room while her two, two dark pools for eyes scanned her surroundings. Soon, another cat entered the room. When she realised what was happening, her whiskers twitched. It began. The contest. Who was going to win? Staring is all they could do. The danger of what was about to happen. Was it safe? The tension grew. The other cat had satin white fur, her eyes two small black slits. Soon, the black cat walked slowly and silently on the thick blood red carpet towards the target. The other cat also walked forward, clenched muscles, intense stares. They became closer until they were nose to nose. And they could smell the cat food on each other's breath. I'm getting the fluffy pillows first, shouted the black cat. No, I am, cried the other. They started fighting over the fluffy pillow, cat fighting on their hind legs, paws outstretched, whipping each other until they were very, very, very sleepy. Suddenly, a lady walked in. Fifi, Fluffy, what are you doing? Oh, never mind. You've got to go outside now. She ushered them both out of the front door and closed it shut. Silence. The black cat sat on the fence. The white cat sat on the wall. Intense stares. Who would get to sit in the sunny spot first? I really like that, Evie. You really showed the tension there. That's absolutely fantastic. Evie's only in year six, so she's, you know, she's quite young. And I think that's a really, really exciting, mature piece of writing. So really, really well done, Evie. Um, I have one more members piece of work to read out, and then I'm going to do one of my own. Uh, this one is slightly different. Um, Sarah um, has written a really short script, and it's based on the Big Bang Theory. There's three characters in this, so it's going to be a slightly different one to read out. I'm going to tell you which character I am. Okay, so Howard says, I hate being indoors with Sheldon. And Sheldon says, you take that back. I'm not sick. And then Howard says, I'm not taking it back. And Penny can't go to work. And Sheldon says, Penny, you need to go to work. And Penny says, I can't go to work, Sheldon. Then Sheldon looks at the audience and says, thanks to, for listening to this, and I hope you wash your hands. Stay safe. Thank you, Sarah. So that was a bit different. You've actually written a script. Funny for me playing the different characters, but I hope I got it across all right, Sarah. Uh, and finally, I would like, you to, I would like to read um, a poem that I wrote this week. Um, it's a poem that I've aimed at my daughter. She's three years old and... Um, She's been doing really well during this whole being locked inside thing. You know, for a three-year-old, she's, she's doing fantastically. But this is a poem I wrote to her, and it goes like this. To you, my little one, we have become the very best of friends. I never knew that it would be so, though I begged and prayed it would. I remember long ago, I didn't know if I would ever have you in my life. I had these wibbly-wobbly winds that muddled up my mind. I was unkind to myself and thought that mental health could be a barrier to love. Hm. It's silly now, I know. Although, back then, it felt more real than the sun. Your mum lived in a faraway land, I was alone, and you were just a distant hope. But now you're here, 
We're here. That fear of what I'd be has eased away. Our play leaves little space for doubt. I am your playmate, bouncy castle, friend. I won't pretend you never make me cross. But even when you've got me upstairs for the tenth time, though you know you should be asleep, you'll make me laugh. And I'll keep loving you the more. I'm now a different person than before. And we explore this wibbly wobbly world together. You are the maddest, kindest, funniest, most caring kid I've known. And you have shown me what this world can be. You are a part of me and will be forevermore. Uh, that's all of the work that I've received this week. I hope um, I have read everyone out. If I've missed you, I don't think I have, but if I have missed anyone, I'll, I promise I'll read it for you next week. I'd like to set you a task now for next week. I want this to be a collaborative process, and I think when I'm just doing drama workshops for you, I can't see you, so it becomes a little bit difficult. So I want us to be kind of creating a creative world together. So, your task this week. Firstly, if you'd like to write a poem, that would be fantastic. And I'd like you to write a poem about the spring, about the springtime. Uh, this poem is, uh, you need to uh, message it to the Inspiration Creative page. So if you go on the Inspiration Creative Facebook page, there's a little tab for um, message us. Press that and message that to Zoe and Peter. Or you can um, email it to them as well. Uh, their email address is on the, creative, on the Inspiration Creative website. For me next week, I want to perform lots of different work again. So please get writing. This is for anyone in Thanet, not just Inspiration members. I want you to write, uh, it could be short stories, it could be poems, it could be monologues, just something interesting, exciting for me to read. So I can kind of, we can all sort of share our experiences together. Um, I hope you have a lovely week. I hope you stay really safe. It's been great talking to you and um, I'll see you next week. Please, please write as much as you can. We want loads and loads of work. Take care. Bye bye.